All right, guys, welcome back to your 60-second video in this series. In this video, we're going to focus on auto-populating our information title field right here. So if we click on one of our menu items, like this is Village Park, Videos, Services, or Random, it's going to auto-populate right here for the information title, as well as give it the correct position, as well as let us know if it's visible, true or false, on or off. So what we need to do is go to our edit underscore info dot PHP page, and we need to look at our forms. So... What are we looking for? Okay, right here, form action, form value. So let's go ahead and give it a dynamic, our dynamic variable that we pretty much just used in the last video. So let's go ahead and create some PHP tags. If you need to drop down a couple lines or two, feel free to do so. I'm just going, I'm going to go ahead and do it on one line right here. And we're going to do yada, 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 echo all this right here. Actually, we're using the table. So let's grab this. Copy and paste, and let's just put it in there like that, and let's go ahead, and now we'll close that out. So now our value is dynamic. Let's go ahead and check it. So let's go ahead and reload this page, and if we click on services, random, videos, or this is Village Park, it's auto-populating right there. So we have successfully created this in PHP dynamically. Let's go ahead and do so for the position as well as visible. And for position, we're going to do something a little bit different. So let me go ahead and look at this position right here. Yada, yada, yada. Here's our four loop. I'm going to go ahead and drop down a couple lines right here. Echo option value. Actually, I'm going to bring this back up. And let's go ahead and we got how many quotations? Okay, let's give it another quotation right there. Let's take that out and we will close this out. And now I'm gonna drop this down a few a few lines because I want to run a true or false statement. So to do that, I'm gonna use an if statement for our position button. So I'm gonna go ahead and if our variable one single quotations position is equal to our variable that we use called count that we've been using and we will exercise we'll just echo selected and we'll close that out and let's go ahead and look at this. And if it's not, we need to go ahead and echo this. Let me clean up my code. And I will echo, I'm gonna bring it one more line up. And let's go ahead and echo, we'll give it the closing quotation from the one that we started right there. And let's go ahead and save this. And let's reload it and see if our position now changes with our information title. So this is Village Park. That should be one because it's one right here. Let's click on videos and this should be number two. Perfect. Services should be three. Perfect. Random should be four. All right. So we need to do one more test. Let's go ahead and work with our visible part in our, um, our, uh, our form. So let's go down to visible. And what I want to do here is I, I still want to keep the value because I have it, it's it's a boolean, it's set to on or off, but I wanna go ahead and give it a if statement as well. So I'm gonna drop these two down, our no and our yes, a couple lines, and in between them, let's, first things first, we need to make it dynamic, and let's go ahead and run an if statement, if our variable table one single quotations is visible and it's equal to zero, so it's false, it's not visible, we will go ahead and execute echo, give it a space, checked, close it out because it's a statement. 
and our closing PHP tag is right here. I can back this up a little bit now to create less lines of codes. Consolidating is always good. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same exact thing for here, except set our variable equal to 1. So grab these PHP tags. Let's copy those. Let's paste it right there. I want to echo the same thing regardless, just as a default, whether it's true or false, we'll just keep it as checked. And we will just change this to one. And I think that's all I want to do in this video, because in the next video, we're actually going to start writing some more SQL. So good luck with this. Hopefully everything is auto populating. And it's showing up. Everything's visible. Services position. Hopefully everything worked out as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.